Hello, psychology students. This video is a set of directions for this assignment, 8.10.1, effects of stress and how to cope assignment. So uh, what I have up here is the directions for effects of stress and how to cope. The learning target reads that you're going to examine sources of stress in your own life and then how they affect you, okay? Where it says here, create a three box panel, you can use this that I have on the direction sheet. You can use this that is just the table. You can download it um, onto your own computer for your own use. Oh, or again, you can, you can write on here. Okay, so back to the directions, you are going to determine two to four sources of stress, okay? And in the lesson preceding this, you learned about eustress and distress. So think of these as kind of the positive stress that motivates you or distress, which is traditionally how we think about stress, the negative stress. So you're going to determine two, three, or four of these kinds of stresses in your life. And you are either going to describe or define what that source of stress is for you. So in this column right here, you are saying uh, a certain type of stress, a certain type of stress, a certain type of stress, okay? The second part, the second column, description of the stressors, you need to explain how these stressors affect your brain and body, all right? So provide a description of how that particular stress, how it feels, how it comes out, what you start to think about, how it feels inside of your body, um, specific to that source of stress. And then in the third column, what you are doing is you are sketching an image of how you are choosing to cope with that particular stress. Okay. Now I have my own examples, which I'm going to pull into view that uh, will hopefully give you ideas, but you are not going to copy these, okay? So once again, giving you ideas. Um, so I have the same table that you do, and I created this as if I was in high school. So in fact, I did play volleyball, so getting ready to play in a volleyball game, that would have been you stress for me, a positive kind of stress. I would be excited, but I would also be a little bit nervous. How that would feel inside of my body is um, I might feel butterflies in my stomach because I'm nervous. And then the way that it motivated me is I would play certain things, certain skills that I would do over and over and over in my head and how those would play out on the volleyball court, okay? So how would I deal with that type of situation and stress is I might like pull myself over to a wall or a corner without trying to, you know, be too strange. I might close my eyes and do a little bit of breathing to help me kind of calm down and put it all into perspective. Okay, my sec second example is uh, distress. That's why I put the D over here. My parents had very high expectations for me and sometimes those expectations would literally feel like weight on my shoulder. Sometimes it felt like so much where I would have pressure on my chest or body. Now that's not to say that I'm blaming my parents, but they did have these high expectations. Okay, so what would I do to cope with that? Uh, I often did not like people to know how I was feeling, so I would put a smile on my face, okay, and I would go forward telling myself kind of like things are going to be okay and I can do this. The last part, I forgot my D, getting into college was a source of stress, especially when I was a senior. Again, I might feel those butterflies in my stomach. I might tell myself, well, you're never gonna get into that college or your test scores aren't good, okay? Once again, this is distress. And so um, 
this is what is happening inside of my brain and my body. And then how would I cope with that? Well, as it showed in your digital textbook, I think it was 8.4, I would oftentimes make myself a list and what it had to do with college, it would be like getting together, say, a resume or a letter of introduction and or so those are things that I would need to do to get my college application ready. Maybe there would be options. Let's say that I didn't get into said college, but if I didn't get into those, I would either in my mind, a one, two, and a three, or on paper, write down what I could do or where I could go instead of getting into that particular college, okay? And so once again, in 8.4, it talks about a growth mindset and the realization that it's okay not to be perfect and, for example, to get into that prestigious college. All right, so I hope that gives you an idea of what you are putting in each of the columns. Once again, you only have to do two to four. I chose three straight down the middle of the two and the four expectation. Please let me know if you have any questions as you are doing this assignment. Thanks, bye.